<laughs> I can't believe it. It feels like forever that we've been planning this road trip, and now the day's finally here. It's been, what, three months since we had that talk? I still can't believe you made it happen so quickly. <laughs> you really are my hero, you know? <sighs> I can't wait to get started. Come on, we should go to that restaurant. They should have the dinner menu out around this time. And you know how much I love their breadsticks. <laughs> hmm? Babe, what are you looking at? Of course I know you're looking at me, dork, but why? I look excited. Well, it's because I am. Three? No. Four days of something new and exciting, and with my favorite person on the whole planet. How could I be anything but excited? <laughs> to be honest, while it's exciting and all to do these things with you, I'm just glad you're letting yourself rest. All those long hours you work, I'm so thankful that you make sure we can live comfortably. So many people would love to be where I am. A nice house, a beautiful view, an amazing partner. <laughs> I get to live feeling safe and secure because of you. I don't have to worry about getting sick and not being able to get checked up. There's always food on the table. You even got backup snacks prepared for us everywhere. Even when we do random, spur-of-the-moment things like this, it feels natural. I feel at home with you, wherever we are. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay! Yes, we planned this trip together, but that's not the point. I still wake up and think to myself that it was me who got lucky finding you. <laughs> I know you're driving, but can I hold your hand? <sighs> I love you. Well, that was... fun. <gasps> hmm? No, I'm not tired. Well, okay, maybe a little bit. We've been out all day. Huh? What was my favorite part of the day? Gosh, you're really gonna make me think about the past two days, aren't you? Hmm. Let's see. First, there was that cafe. I really like their selection. I'd honestly just come back there for that caramel latte. Mm, the movie we watched afterwards was okay. I'm glad the theater wasn't too packed, though. Cuddling with you was the fun part. <laughs> oh, and then the restaurant we went for lunch. What was it, Thai? I think I like Thai food a lot now. There's so much flavor and spices with every bite. It was amazing. Gosh, I feel like I gained 10 pounds that day just from the basil fried rice. I didn't know you knew that much about Thai cuisine. Wait, really? You researched everything beforehand? Aw, that's cute. Let's see, what came after the restaurant? Was it the museum? Oh, no, the aquarium. Interesting date idea, by the way. I don't think anyone's ever taken me on a silent date before. No, it wasn't awkward at all. It felt... kinda nice, actually. Okay, it was a little awkward, but in a good way. Like when we first started dating. Those little butterflies of excitement. It really puts into perspective just how long it's been since we've been together. It's getting cold. Come here and give me a hug. <sighs> the aquarium was an interesting place for me. I know I've told you this before when I was younger, but I used to be afraid of the ocean. It was just so... much. It was vast, dark and scary. <laughs> and my mom had to take me home from a class field trip because I couldn't stop crying at jellyfish. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shut up, don't laugh. <laughs> I didn't feel any of that with you, though. It was almost magical. Standing beneath that giant window, we were surrounded by the animals floating in the tank, and I felt so small compared to them. When I turned away and looked at you, you were mesmerizing. There was this look of awe in your eyes as you gazed up upon them. A childlike twinkle washed all over your face as you admired them. I realized I had the same look on my face whenever I look at you. I know this is super cliché, but I've never met anyone that's made me feel the same way you do. Even though we spend so much time together, there's just something about the way you treat me that makes me feel like all my problems will wash away. Whatever's troubling me is just a drop in the ocean, to be taken away by the tide. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, and the day wasn't over, wasn't it? We still went to that amusement park. Gosh, all the food and rides. It all went by so fast, but it was... exhilarating. Also, I still think you let me win that whack-a-mole game, and you cannot convince me otherwise. There's no way I got double your score first try like that. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry about getting grumpy in the middle of it. I was just super upset that some bird pooped on me, of all people. What? I really like that summer dress. Yeah, it'll wash off, but oh my gosh, that's not the point. <laughs> You're so dense sometimes. I love you anyway. You and your bonehead, giant mess of confidence and pride. Thank you for putting up with me. I know I can be a lot to handle. I'm not perfect, and I feel bad because sometimes I think I'm being another burden on your shoulders. I know that you can handle whatever gets thrown at you, but still, I shouldn't be adding to your problems, right? <laughs> can I be honest with you? I wasn't sure that this trip was going to happen. You promised that it would be a thing, but whenever you came home, you looked so tired. I didn't think you had it in you to schedule a trip and make sure it happened the way it did. It broke my heart to see you enter the front door, give me a kiss, and slump into one of the kitchen chairs. The way you dumped your bags on the floor, your shoulder rolled forward and your head tucked down. You looked defeated, tired. I wanted nothing more to just scoop you into my arms and give you the love you so desperately need. It hurts sometimes when you're so exhausted you'd brush past me, wordlessly, going right to the couch. You'd eat dinner through instinct, and then do the absolute minimum to get ready for bed. No, shh, sh sh no, baby. I'm not judging you. All I'm saying is that I understand. Work can get you down sometimes. That's why I try my best to be there for you. I don't know if you ever noticed, but I'd always make sure everything was already laid out for you before you go to bed. In the morning, I'd do the same for when you had to leave again. When we finally got in bed, you were always knocked out immediately. As soon as your head hit the pillow, you were out. There were so many nights I stayed up and just looked at you while you slept. <laughs> okay, that sounded a little weird, but that was the only time, because you look relaxed and at peace. I'd read my hands over your body, and I'd feel all those knots and tense muscles. I'd massage them until they loosened up and went away. It made me feel like I was helping, even if it was just for a little bit, to see you breathe slower and relax. You know what, though? I had faith in you. You're not one to back out of a promise when you told me we're going on a road trip. I believed it. I believed you. I admit there were times where I would almost give up on the idea, but you always pull through. 
for me, right? I'm wrong? W what do you mean? You're not only at peace when you're asleep. Oh, <laughs> you're at peace whenever you see me. You're even most relaxed when you're with me? <laughs> you're such a charmer, babe. Babe, I know you do all this for me, and I'm so, 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 so grateful for it, but... <laughs> Gosh, you're an idiot. You overworking, callous, stupid idiot. I cannot believe you made me cry tonight, and now my makeup's gonna smear everywhere. <laughs> Ugh. But you're my idiot, and I don't want anyone else. I want you. I want you. 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 <laughs> I love you. I love you. Will you say it back for me? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everything. I'll never leave you, for as long as you let me. I know it can be hard sometimes, but let me stand by you. Let me be your light, just please, let me stay. Yes, I promise, I'll stay. I'll stay, baby. <laughs>